you ever get cranky with stuff? Take it. Ashwagandha. You ever just get straight up cranky when you don't eat? Man, I get. Do not make me wait to eat my food. Two days in a row. I got mail. That's why I'm doing the video. Two days in a row helping other people out. And it affected my food timing. It pisses me off. I need to get back to the house. And then they're going to light up and say some dumb stuff. You know what? I'm not trying to put my stuff out all over the internet, but... I mean, I am, but... Just got in an argument with my son. Because he makes like three or four hundred bucks a week, whatever. You know? No big thing. We don't make him pay for nothing. I do let him ask him to pay for half the phone bill every other month, which ain't nothing really. You know, if you make it sixteen hundred dollars a month and you gotta pay, you're still bringing home fifteen fifty a month. Now over here living off whatever. By choice, obviously that's my choice. But I told him, you know, I can't afford to buy you food. Because, I mean, you got a lot of money, you can buy food, right? Because the kid don't eat a lot. You don't eat a ton. So, 20 bucks a week, we'll feed him. And we proved it. You know, a couple weeks in a row, we were going shopping. Goes to the dollar store. No big thing. Now I got a damn pill stuck in my throat. I'm venting because it's been a. I gotta talk about it. Get it off my chest. So he goes, um, There's last week, he didn't buy food. Now I saw he tapped into a couple of my things. I'm like, Yeah, whatever. I'm not selfish. You know what I'm saying? But remember, I do follow a really strict regimen. And it's costing cost me a lot to eat right now because I'm bulking. So he tapped into some of my shrimp and stuff. I'm like, alright, whatever. Then I realized my mom was putting out food every time. My mom puts out a lot of money to be able to provide for us and having us here. And I'm very thankful for that. And I cover all my own expenses. Like, I don't ask her for anything. Okay? Other than she provides a roof over her head and I'm very grateful for that. But he's gotten to the point to where he's getting lazy about it. And he's like, nah, why buy food? Nana feeds me. And he's like, that's your requirement. And I'm like, your ass has got a full time job. You work six days a week. You can buy twenty dollars worth of food so that you're not putting that burden on Nana. He's like, nah. I'm going to tell you, I'm like, you better tone that shit down because you ain't telling me a fucking thing. All right. I am the father and I'm raised, I'm having to raise my voice and stuff. And he's like flipping out. And it's like, no, absolutely fucking not. If you're bringing home $400 a week, you don't need to spend $400 a week on weed. All right. You don't need to spend it on whatever the hell you're spending it on to make your grandmother go buy your ass food because she feels bad because you ain't got no money to eat. And then he's going to go on me and say, I obviously have to do everything because I ain't got shit for Christmas for four years. What? Last week? Thanks to it somebody that helped me out with it I saw he didn't have no money for groceries you know what I did I said we can handle this really good you can either get gifts or I can hand you a hundred dollar bill so you can get food and you can get this and you can get through the week because two days in he was broke a day in he was broke and I get it you're young whatever he goes okay two days later he ain't got no food 
And then he's going to tell me, and he's ratting me out to my mom, saying, I've had the shittiest Christmas ever. Nobody ever got, nobody got me anything, blah, 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 blah. This right here is 50 bucks for him, for my mom, that I was going to give him on Christmas when we go see the snow. Snow ain't free. It ain't free to go drive three hours. It ain't free to put gas in the car. It ain't free to take you to lunch. It ain't free to hand you a hundred dollar bill. You know what I mean? Like, that's just ungrateful and selfish as fuck. I ain't asking for shit for Christmas. My mom actually got me something. And actually, I went to the store with her. She got me some Bose headphones. That's a dope ass gift. Okay. But I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this stuff. These amazing cards that you guys send me. And I'll be fucking damned if I'm going to raise a selfish ass kid that don't appreciate with that shit. There are, there are so many things that don't fucking matter in this. I, I don't care if my kid ends up getting into a bad relationship or I don't care if he picks the wrong girl according to me. That ain't my damn business. I don't care if he bees a doctor or if he's a damn works at fucking McDonald's for the rest of his life. I don't care. I ain't putting those weird ass expectations on my kid. I ain't making him go to college. I ain't doing all this. You do you. Okay? But there's a few motherfucking things that you will make sure that you have. You will have integrity. If you say you're going to fucking do something, you do it. You will not be selfish. You will not burden somebody else because of your fucking illegitimate, irresponsible behavior. If you get paid $400 a week, you fucking buy your $20 worth of groceries. I don't give a shit what you think you need. You don't need $400 worth of weed. Okay? You shouldn't even be coming here smoking that shit. You know, this is the type of stuff that makes me not want to be around people like that. And that's not fair. You know, it's not fair to my mom. It's not fair. It's not fair to him because I know damn well if he was getting a $400 check week and then somebody said, <clears throat> you know, if he was playing, somebody he cared about kept saying, oh, you know, I'm getting paid, but go ahead. You know, you can buy my, buy my food this week. That ain't right. It ain't right for anybody to do it to him. It ain't right for anybody to do it to anybody else because it's wrong. I know. I'm sorry. Complain. I don't like to put that out there, but it's just frustrating, you know? Being a parent can be really strange sometimes. And then it kind of makes me look inside myself. I'm like, you know what? Am I doing these things? Is it blah, 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 blah? I don't know. I'm sure some of you guys are expecting experiencing some of this it's just sad you know this week this year i've actually told a lot of people hey you know because i do what i can for people throughout the year i don't neglect i don't buy it first of all if i don't buy you stuff throughout the year i'm not going to buy you something on christmas and i know that sounds jacked you know what i mean like but if you're not something I would normally give somebody and I would normally give something to throughout the year, like my aunt and my uncle, I always bring them random stuff like donuts or just random, all kinds of random shit. I try to give my, I bought them both a um, gift card for something and gave it to my mom and I asked her to give it to them because I didn't have a chance. She said, 20 minutes later, she said, came back, oh, they ain't gonna like that shit. Here, take them back. And I'm like, so then I'm like, what the fuck? Who says that? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Holidays are full of so much just nonsense. Like, don't go into debt trying to prove to people you love them. Because you know what? That ain't right. That ain't right. You ain't... It, holidays are not about that. You know, holidays... And I'll be honest. Like, if I'm in a relationship and I love a girl or something like that, yeah, I'll spoil them rotten if they deserve it. You know what I mean? And that's fine. But I don't think you should just... Go out of your way to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to make everybody smile and stuff like that. Do I like spoiling people in general? Of course. But I don't think you should do it specifically or feel obligated to break the bank. You know, this year I've been actually trying to focus on paying down a couple credit cards. Because why? Because I'm a jerk and I don't spend any money on people. But I got two broke down ass vehicles. You don't know what I mean? Like I shouldn't have to feel bad for that. I got my car that the fucking, I'm pretty sure the engine's blown, okay? My bike won't start, like, come on. 
It's not about that. Don't put yourself out constantly. And it's just sad that people make you feel that way. Because let's be honest, you know what I mean? Like if I had more money, I'd probably do more for people. I would. I love to do things for people, but I don't know. Speaking of which, Amber Shepard did something for me. I think she sent me a gift. She's blowing me up in my messenger. She's like, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? I got it, girl. What the fuck? Did this say? Jonathan Montgomery. Also. Who the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> she just messaged me like 10 minutes ago. Did I spell your name right on the package? Hell no you didn't. <laughs> what the fuck? Who the fuck is Montgomery? <laughs> Some backwood ass motherfucker. Are you serious? I've been cussing too much on YouTube. They're gonna kick my ass. Hey, Montgomery. Throw this damn thing in the garbage with your Montgomery shit trying to play with me. What's this? Oh man, it's been a while since I smelled the new stuff. I feel like somebody's gonna interrupt me right now. I ain't answering the door. Nobody will leave me the hell alone. Plus, I was hungry. Don't mess with me. I'm hungry, man. Damn. What the hell is this? What's in here? Oh, shit. Well, first of all, it's black. Second of all, it's got a Nike symbol on it. Hey, I'm wearing my Nike hoodie right now. People pay attention. Let's see what you got here. That's cool. It's the letter. Don't do that, child. Didn't you learn that, learn that shit when you're like three? There's like a pimple on my neck that just will not go away. Ow, I think I busted it. It's hurting. It's disgusting. Shut up. Merry Christmas. Hope you like it. Amber Shepherd. Yeah. Nike Priscilla. Buffalo bag. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. I used to be so against Nike, and now I'm, I'm like all Nike'd up now. <laughs> this is dope. Yeah. Oh, girl, I've been needing a new gym bag. My gym bag, I, if I had to guess, I think it's literally like 10 years old. It's in good shape, but it's red, and I, I'm always wearing black, so it's kind of like I don't like to be noticed. The bomb. Mm. Look at that shit. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Now you hold up. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. Hold on. Oh, that's my way. See how I'm making a video here? Hold up. Look at that. Walking into the gym like. What's up, y'all? What's up? <clears throat> you know that, uh, that strap is going to be on the outside. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Just walking up in the gym. Like, <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. You actually just go like this. You got a bunch of stuff in there. But it feels crazy because it's like, Shit. You know what I mean? That's good. I like that. How many 
put it like that. If you got any kind of, sh maybe I need to build up them shoulders a little bit. It just like rolls right off there. Put your saggy, flabby ass shoulders, John. That's what's up. That looks weird, don't it? It looks weird. I think it looks cooler when you hold it when you got a bunch of shit in there and you hold it like this. Why? Because it like engages the triceps. That's not even fucking tricep. That's your trap. <laughs> it engages your trap. So you're like, mm, 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 uh, uh. <laughs> fuck, is that how I look when I walk in the gym? That is, damn, that was really dumb looking. I don't need to work on that. I need to work on my, I need to work on how I walk in the gym. Okay, that looks stupid. Try this again. That's a good one right there, right? That good one? Try it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Walk in the gym. <laughs> Maybe I can skip inside the gym. Hey, guys. How are you doing? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Stop. Stop. Come on. Come on. Get off. Thank you, Amber. That is literally where I spend 99% of my free time. In the freaking gym. And I feel actually like my knees are getting better. Let's try it again. That little trick I showed you guys in the video, if you guys watched it, if you have cracking knees or anything, um, or any kind of, I have runner's knee right now, actually. Oh my gosh. He's not cracking. Do you hear that? Listen. Well, that was a different crack. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Do you know how freaking amazing, how long I've been walking around with like crackling, popping knees and it's just been driving me nuts. I haven't been able to do squats for, funny enough, on the program I'm following, squats were wrong, have not been involved for a while. But, um, actually no, a couple weeks ago they were, and I had to do leg press. Couldn't do the squats, couldn't get into it without it popping and I've tried to been avoiding the injuries. Um, I did some more of the uh, runner's knee fixes today. One of them was really painful. I'll share it with you guys um, in the near future. They are all stolen ideas, by the way, from a guy named Smashworks. That's his um, YouTube. I don't know what else he does. I've just watched a few of his knee fixing videos. Um, and he's pretty, actually, pretty knowledgeable. And believe it or not, I'm feeling, for the first time, some freaking improvements. So... Thank you, Amber. That was really sweet of you. That is beautiful. As you can see, I actually cherish. Um, this is, this, I think it's still in pretty good condition. Like, I, I laughed out my, my Nike hoodie looks really bad. But this is the hoodie that, it's kind of like a dry fit, really thin one. Um, that, uh, and now, of course, it's got yogurt on it for the first time ever. But this is the one that Jennifer Archines got me last year for Christmas. So it kind of matches the bag. Actually, it totally matches the bag. So I'll totally wear them together. I appreciate you doing that. Ooh, it's got little hair lines too. Nice. And a hook for the gym, for the uh, deal. That's nice. I like it. Should we open it? Should I open it? for your shoes. I like the material. It's like a really decent um, canvas. It's, it's weird too because it's like two different tones. It's interesting. I like the bottom. It looks like it's you could wash it, like uh, wipe it instead of just getting like a fabric bottom or something like that. Thank you, Amber. That was really sweet. Now I feel like an asshole because I haven't gotten you guys anything. Have a good day.